Hey guys, we're back. Got some good news, got some good updates. Um, but before we get started, uh, I do still have to do this uh, professional red teaming giveaway. Thank you for the ones that subscribed and commented and hashtag. I'm going to do the contest now. Um, this is a random YouTube picker comment PHP page. I just put the URL, hit start on one of these, and then uh, it'll just pick someone to win the prize. Now, before I get started, I do want to add, um, out of these contests for these books that I've been doing, I've noticed, well, I've only, I have about two of these that nobody has responded. Uh, so two of the contests, nobody's responded. I reached out. I only have their YouTube handle and I can, you know, try to message or comment or try to get their attention. But um, some, so basically, if, if you're doing these contests, please keep checking back to see if you won. Um, I was thinking about maybe adding an extra step in addition to doing the hashtag, maybe going to my site really quick and subscribing. So, you know, uh, if you win, I can email you, you know, from your email address. I don't know. I'm still working out the kinks for that. Um, I do enjoy giving out these free books, free, free material, free learning stuff. So um, keep keep out for that. I'll probably I do already have an email subscription thing on my page. I mean, I don't monitor. I don't really do anything much with it. I'm not. I'm not an email marketer per se, and I don't collect emails, but I feel like I may have to um, do something like that soon just so I can keep track. And then, you know, if you win from hashtagging on the YouTube, um, you know, I'll probably make it a two-step thing like hashtag and then put your email address and then subscribe just so I can have email address. So maybe just put your email address in the, um, in the comments. But, I mean, I don't know if people want to really do that, but I'll figure out some type of thing. So if you win... Um, and you're not on YouTube a lot per se, you know, I can still reach out to you and have some type of, uh, communication where I can, you know, reach out to you and say, you know, thank you for commenting. Thank you for entering the contest and I can send you your, your prize. So, um, with that being said, uh, let's get started here. I'm going to, I think it's here. Let's start. Yep. All right. So the winner, uh, for the professional red team is CP. Uh, he said, he, I just found your channel. been binging on your videos for the past hour. Awesome stuff. Good luck in your next attempt. You can do it. Thank you so much, CP. Um, you are the winner. I'm going to reach out to you. I need your information. Uh, you can reach out to me. My socials is on my website. It's on the YouTube. Um, so if you see this, before I get the chance to reach out to you, uh, just reach out to me and I'll send you the book. Again, thank you again, uh, CP. You are the winner for the raffle. Um, to come back to today's topic, um, I'm happy to report. I know it's been a few months. I think I took the pen test plus the first time, well, the second time actually, back in April. I took the beta uh, last March. Um, I took it officially in April and I failed. I have that video up if you wanna take a look at that. But I'm happy to report. I did pass it yesterday. I took it for the second official time, third unofficial time. Um, and I'm, I'm actually excited. Um, so I feel better about it is, is one more milestone out the way, one more goal out the way. I really feel like I'm going to get closer to OSCP. If not pass it the next time, I may have to push it to more of middle August instead of the first week of August. I know if you've been watching my channels, I have my son, we've been having a great summer. There's still a whole nother month and a half maybe of, of time that I have with him. So um, try to juggle family and, you know, work and priorities and then OSCP, but I'm happy. I got pen test plus, um, it's definitely a notch on the belt, put it on the resume. I can, I can promote it. I can, you know, put it on my, my stuff of accolades and, you know, um, for someone like myself, the reason that I value certifications, I value certs like CompTIA, um, because, um, my specific, uh, situation I, i'm not really well connected with employers with hiring managers with people in in cybersecurity hiring positions i don't have family you know i don't have connections like that so uh, for someone like myself getting these certs is a way to show that i know something um you know say what you want about how you feel about particular certs or whatever i know there's dumps out there and you know there's people cheating and taking them on behalf of other people. And I know all that stuff, you know, it happens and whatnot. But for someone like myself, especially trying to go from, um, you know, I've been doing risk 
management and compliance for about 10 years now, and I'm trying to break away from that into uh, red teaming. Um, so for someone like myself who's not well-connected, um, I find getting the certs has been the fast the fast track for me. It's the fastest way for me to uh, go into an interview you know, and, and have it on my resume, have something to talk about, and show that I'm capable of the work. So um, if you're like me, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there trying to get into cyber and don't know where to start and aren't connected, don't have friends and family. So certification is a way to show that. Definitely, obviously, education as well, degrees, bachelor's, master's, whatever have you. But um, I got the pen test plus. I passed it yesterday. I'm very excited. Um, in addition to getting it, uh, because I have security plus, because I have security plus also, I got what I got a stackable, which which is uh, I gotta look it up here. I don't. I think it was vulnerability network assessment assessor or something. Uh, one second. So because I got uh, Pentest Plus and I already had uh, Security Plus, I got a stackable called CNVP, which is Network Vulnerability Assessment Professional. Uh, CNVP, and I also have because I have Linux and and network. I have I have a Linux network professional. I don't really understand the whole stackable thing with CompTIA yet. I know it's uh, you know you can promote that and you can uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Take advantage of that and put it on your resume. I don't know if it's really well understood how the stackables work. I haven't really seen anybody really promote the stackable uh, certifications. I, I see a lot of network security or Security Plus, Network Plus, Linux, A Plus. I see the basics, but I don't see anybody really promoting the stackable ones. I don't know if it still hasn't caught on or what, but you know it's there. I may or may not promote promote myself in a business sense in that way, but uh, it's available to me. Um, I'm, so depending, I mean, I don't know if you, if you're someone out there and you have stackables, and do you find promoting the stackable cert works better than promoting the individual certs? Let me know. Hit the comments. Uh, if you're an employer, let me know if that works for you guys when you're screening uh, candidates. Um, but the last thing I'll well, what I would say about the Pentest Plus, I'm happy I got it. Let me show you the two books I used. So these are the two main books I used for the Pentest Plus for my studies. One is the Cybex. Is it Cybex? Yeah, Cybex Pentest Plus guide, and then the other one is the All in One. You probably see these all the time, all over the place. I could do two quick reviews uh, of these books. <coughs> Excuse me, if you're going for the pen test. So first thing I say, this one right here um, was not as technical as I'd like it to be. It's definitely not as technical as the the exam was. Um, if I had to put words to it without being cynical, um, it was very theoretical, very top level thinking very uh theoretical as i said um it didn't get into as much technical detail as i would have preferred and what i found to be on the test um it's still a good read it's, it's still definitely very important information i'll have a link i think i already have a link to the description about this one but i'm a reader i collect books um i can't say i wouldn't have passed without this but i would say i would like it to have been more uh technical in nature um this is actually the the one when i failed the first time this is the only book i used so i don't know if that says a lot or whatever but take it for what it is um so i had that and then this one i found to be very much more in depth more technical um the testing the practice exam was very well written i like the what is it hub total dot hub dot total sim dot com um i would say combine this that book with this one and then I also took a Learning Tree Pen Test Plus course. My employer paid for it. Um, I think it's like over two thousand dollars. It was a week long, five days, eight hours a day. Um, it definitely helped. I took it about a week or two ago. Um, that's my situation. My 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 job was willing to pay for that, and I appreciate it. Um, I won't say I learned anything specifically new. It was a great review for a whole week's worth of online I, I did the online so i wasn't in a class um but combine that with these two books and then obviously my oscp uh labs and studying and just just diving into you know 
the entire red teaming pen testing thing. Um, I really felt confident. So I will I will say this. Compared to the first time when I took it in April, I was still very confident. You know, I was very confident I was going to take it. I was going to pass it. I really didn't feel like I didn't know the material. I don't know if there was a fluke with the, 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 the version that I got. Maybe I failed by one point or one question. I don't know. I really was bummed about that. If you go back and look at that video, you could probably tell. And I was sick, so maybe that was a factor. But um, as far as uh, my being confident, taking it yesterday and taking it back in April, I felt the same. You know, I was a little, I was bummed from failing the first time. But when I took it yesterday, um, granted I had, you know, two or three more months of study and review uh, and all that. I still felt like I was going to pass yesterday, you know, and I did. I felt like I was going to pass the first time. So I don't know. Uh, what was really different. Uh, maybe I did miss it by one or two questions. Maybe being sick didn't help me, uh, you know, back in April. Um, but I really, like, when I hit end exam, you know, after I took the survey and I hit end exam, and, you know, you get that little butterflies about, you know, okay, you know, it's going to pop up and show if you pass or not. Uh, I knew I passed. I felt like I passed. I felt like I passed the first time. So um, I don't know what that was about. Universe, who knows, whatever. But I finally got it, so that one's on my uh, a notch on the belt. Uh, I can put these two books to rest, put them in the library, continue on with OSCP, doing uh, CTFs, Hack the Box, and getting definitely more more acclimated to just root and boxes. Um, I do have someone else lined up for the next hacker interview. I'm trying to shoot that sometime this month and release it this month, so please look out for that. Summer 2019, I have about a month left for my third attempt. Um, I, I think <clears throat> I think I was going to wait until my son went back to Florida um, to to take it. I didn't want to take it while he was here, while I had responsibility. So um, it's probably I'm probably going to take my, my OSCP third attempt mid-August. Um, I'm still going to get into a 30-day lab. Actually, I'm going to re-up the 30-day labs today. Uh, I believe the price was going up, but I, I hopefully I, I, I'm, I, uh, I was able to get that cut off. I forgot what the date was. It might be more expensive now, but it is what it is. Um, but I do want to preach. I do appreciate you guys keeping in touch, doing the hashtags, paying attention to the free material CP. I'm going to send you this. I just need your information. Um, and again, I'm happy, happy that I passed pen test plus. If you have any specific questions about it, about materials, um, just go ahead and give me a shout out. You have my social there. Follow, like, subscribe, share, do all that stuff. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. If you like, share, subscribe. Um, I got an interview coming up soon, hopefully later this month. And then in about a month, I'll be, I would have taken my OSCP for the third time. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, keep studying, keep learning, remain vigilant, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.